Hi, it's Martin Rangelov here and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to connect your Canon camera to your computer which is Windows could be Mac as well to use it as if it's a, a webcam now I have the EOS 4000D however this works with other models as well now the first thing you need, and actually there's there's mainly two things you need, right, uh, in terms of software. You need the EOS utility, which you can see on my screen here, right? I'll share the two links in the description. If for some reason Canon change them in the future, just uh, search for this. You're going to come click here and then you're just going to select your product and then your operating system, okay? Then you download it, install and install that. Now, after you finish installing this, then you want to go to the second link, which is the Canon EOS webcam utility software, and you want to install that as well. You can see there's an option for Mac or Windows. Uh, choose what's relevant for you. And after you install that, all you have to do is just connect your camera with a USB. Now, if you're using the EOS 4000D, uh, bear in mind, you can do it with an HDMI cable, but you need a video receiver as well, right? So you have to buy the HDMI cable, you have to buy the receiver too. And then what you'll discover is that even if you connect it to, let's say, uh, one of the monitors or even to the PC with, with the receiver, what you find is that the resolution, especially on this model, doesn't look, doesn't look good. Um, and the quality doesn't look good as well. And that's purely because Canon, and they haven't specified this on, on, on the, their website, but this is what I have found out from just uh, digging on the internet and uh, from other people. Effectively, they've made their software work on USBs and only on the more expensive newer models does it work on HDMI, but the HDMI is not guaranteed, right? So it's, especially if you have one of the their cheaper models, then stick with the USB, right? The, the, there is pretty much no difference. It's kind of mainly preference, really. Well, there is a difference if you have really the expensive ones and you want high quality uh, video. But like I say, if you're on a budget one, uh, basically up to 500 pounds, so let's say uh, up to five, 600 pounds, go with the USB. That, that's my uh, personal advice. And effectively, yes, after that, all you have to do is connect it to uh, Camtasia or some other video software that you use if you're recording videos. Uh, for streaming as well, you can connect it or you can just use it for Zoom meetings, Skype, you know, Viber and so on as a webcam. And yes, that's basically how you do it. I think the really useful thing is that all you have, like connecting it through the software or a third party software, you can specify that you use the camera, like just the video of the camera. So therefore, if you have an external microphone like me, that still is detected or picked up from, from the different software by you specifying it as your microphone or basically sound input. And this is how a Canon EOS 4000D, even though it doesn't have uh, like an external microphone jacket, like you can't, even if you, you know, even if I wanted to connect this microphone, I wouldn't be able to because it doesn't have the right uh, connection. Only the really expensive ones in terms of Canon DSLRs, they have it. But again, if, uh, well, to be fair, even if you had those, again, you still wouldn't really need it because like I say, with, with this software, you can just connect it and you can use it even if you don't have uh, such, such an input in your camera. So I hope you have found this helpful. Like I say, it's really straightforward. Get yourself connected and start using it. 